Hello everyone, we're standing here today at World Hydrogen Week in Copenhagen, organized by World Hydrogen Leaders. My name is uh, Johan Wiebe from the Hydrogen Standard, and with me here today stands John Lindegård Scheer. Did I say that correct, uh, John? Perfect pronunciation. Okay, I then I also have to introduce your company, obviously, the Danish Technology Institute, or DTI. Yes, that's exactly right. Fantastic. Well, th thanks for having us. Um, I'm going to use the abbreviation from now on, DTI. Um, please tell us about the, the DTI, what it, what it does uh, in general, and give it a little bit of an intro and also sort of your role in the business. Yeah. So maybe if I start with my role in the company, uh, I uh, work as a market director for PowerTrix and uh, Biofuels. Um, and my role is basically trying to uh, be the strategic, uh, uh, having the strategic, strategic uh, responsibility for for all our competences uh, within this field. Um, Danish Technological Institute or DTI is a uh, Danish RTO, so uh, our main role is actually to uh, help companies develop, uh, validate, and also implement uh, new uh, technologies and solutions. And we do that in, of course, very cl close uh, collaboration with the companies. Uh, but we also do that with a lot of the other knowledge institutions, like universities, for example, uh, where we can do different kinds of uh, projects. Uh, but at the end of the day, our proud role is to uh, help companies to develop new technologies and new uh, solutions uh, and bring them to market. Fantastic. Thank you for that introduction. Um, we had a little, bit, a little bit of a chat beforehand um, and you mentioned eliminating project or strategic or uh, I think something along those lines, risk. So eliminating risk. Um, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I think uh, if we look at the power to x industry or the hydrogen industry, a lot of people are talking about uh, financial risk. Uh, you know, uh, can we produce it at the right prices? But there's also a huge uh, technological risk, right? So, so, and that's that's our role is to eliminate that risk, help companies to bring technologies to market that are. 100% uh, mature uh, for, for the purpose that they are supposed to be used in. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, so, so, so technological risk is, uh, is really a, a key factor in, in where this industry is at the moment. Okay. And sort of addressing also some of the other facets of risk, maybe policy risk or financial risk or challenges maybe, so to speak. Uh, does that also fall in your remit to provide companies support on that? Um, we also uh, partially uh, provide, you can say, uh, input for, for, for other players who's working more on the financial side of it. Um, what we do is basically provide the data that they need in order to, uh, to calculate the right, uh, you can say, financials or the, uh, the make the right uh, financial business plan. Uh, for, for the customers. So that can be data, for example, on electrolyzers uh, uh, and also specifications that they need uh, to, to input into their models. So it sounds like a very comprehensive uh, support model that you have in place. Um, talking now a little bit maybe from the initial phase when the technology is uh, being developed uh, towards scaling up. Uh, that is also something that you provide support with, correct? That's correct. Uh, basically what we do is uh, we do uh, pilot uh, projects with customers, uh, and then we help them uh, to, to scale it up as well. And that can be done, obviously, uh, on our facilities, uh, where we have, uh, we have a lot of testing facilities. We have six offices, uh, uh, including facilities here in, in Denmark, uh, where we do partially uh, scaling up at our sites, and then we bring it to the customers where we can do the final scale up. Uh, and uh, final validation as well. Great. Um, when we talk about these different businesses, it's obviously also interesting to figure out where they are sort of positioned in the supply chain. Um, but if I understand it correctly, the supply chain is across, you, you guys cover across the board uh, supply in the supply chain companies that can uh, come for support to you, to you. Yeah, and that's maybe also what is unique about uh, DTI is that we basically work through the entire value chain. Uh, so we work both with technology providers. Uh, we also work with developers, uh, utilities uh, that needs to develop uh, hydrogen uh, plants. Uh, and then also on the off-tech side as well. So companies, 
uh, can be within transportation, uh, marine, uh, or even industries that needs to use uh, these uh, new green fuels in in uh, in their applications. We also help them to uh, to uh, to do this. And where do you see sort of like the most interest from what sort of sector, from what sort of background uh, in sort of uh, getting the support from you guys? Uh, a lot from, from uh, technology companies. Uh, we also, uh, and then of course also on the off-tech side as well. Uh, we also really starting to see a big interest from the um, developers. Uh, again, we talked a little bit about the eliminating uh, technological uh, risks. So we also see a big interest from, from developers side to be a lot clearer on, you know, what are the technical risks? How do we eliminate them? How do we set up, for example, clear specifications with our suppliers? So we are not caught in a, uh, in a, in a bad situation later in the, in the project phase. So to avoid sort of like being in a, a bad situation in the project phase, there's also a constant um, feedback loop. Uh, I think you mentioned it, sort of a, a certain way of working with the customers to to make sure that everybody's on the right track, everybody understands and what sort of direction it was going and to adjust sort of the direction uh, if it needs to be adjusted. Yeah, uh, so, so obviously feedback from our customers is extremely important. So... Uh, you know, we get extremely good feedback from our customers, but that's also because we, uh, we really value the, the feedback and we try to work very close with the customers, always trying to, you know, be aligned in terms of uh, schedules, time schedules, uh, activity plans, uh, etc. cetera, in, in, you know, to, to always be on the right track uh, with the projects. You mentioned off-takers on the off-take side. There's quite a bit of interest. Um, we, we sort of feel that the, the off-takers, as generally noted, they're a little bit, they're not absent from the market, but uh, th it would be great if they could step up a bit more in terms of like, you know, taking off the vast amount of projects that are being considered to, to, uh, to, to produce hydrogen. Um, what sort of technologies uh, are you seeing sort of the interest and uh, maybe also the products that, that are being used, so hydrogen and the derivatives? Yeah, I think uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, industries where we're seeing a lot of interest is, of course, the marine sector. Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, shipping companies are are looking into how they can implement new uh, green fuels into their engines. Uh, they're doing um, new investments in, in in new builds, of course, but also starting to look into retrofitting existing engines. How they can use. Uh, for example, e-methanol or just methanol, biomethanol, uh, but it can also be ammonia, for example. Uh, so big interest from, from their side, but also in the industry. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, interest there, um, especially uh, industry from, from, uh, from Central Europe, where there's a huge uh, consumption of, uh, for example, uh, natural gas. Uh, today, where they have to displace it uh, with something which is uh, fossil free. Um, so really uh, seeing good momentum uh, from, from their side. Very encouraging to hear. Um, uh, John from uh, DTI, thank you very much. You're welcome and uh, nice to have a chat with you. Yeah.